Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have another Sears remote control car. Now, I'm a big movie fan, and I like old movies like Hammer Films and the William Castle movies and Roger Corman movies. And my favorite is Death Race 2000. So I bought this little remote control vintage car. I'm pretty sure it's made by Tayo. It's a Porsche 917, I believe. I, I don't know, and I don't really care, because it really doesn't do anything for me. So I want to turn it into Frankenstein's car, and that's the only thing I can think to do with it, because I think it's quite ugly, and I don't really find it interesting at all. By the looks of the way they get sold on eBay, no one else does either. It's not going to be an exact replica, because the original one was a Corvette body, but I can't find the right kind of Corvette body. So really, it's just going to be the essence of the Frankenstein car, not an exact replica. So let me get started. It didn't have a battery door, so... I've been working on one. This is my first attempt. It uses two AA's and a nine volt. And it actually has two different speeds. This time electronically it looks like, not mechanically. And I really don't even know if this works. I guess I should try it. But it, it does work, actually, and it's kind of crappy, I think. You turn it on, it's going. You push this button, it goes in reverse, and it does steer, and the steering does work. When it's a crappy little thing like this, I mean, come on. No sense restoring it to its perfect condition. Let's see, step one is to kind of take it apart. And get the yester world grossness off of it. Oh yeah, all metal gears inside. These are the little solenoids. This is a coil of wire, so you charge it up, and this will slow down. It'll be harder. It'll actually want to pull it back in. And then you let up on it, and it'll spin a lot easier. Yep, oh, there it is. A little spring held on here. Pretty sure that didn't screw didn't do that. That came off. I don't know what that little screw just did. The switch in here, which I see a big giant resistor that all you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got a metal casing, metal gears, except for this big one here. All right, I got it all cleaned. Remember how these went in there? Around here, I see some cracks. Let me see if I can make it a little stronger. Didn't even notice that. It's cracked all the way down. Okay. There's a little bearing there. And a little cap.
I've got a lot of the stickers off just from washing it. But some of them are being a little stubborn. Well, first of all, it looks a hundred times better without all those stupid stickers on there. But now to modify it. There. Let's go where I want to put it. I want it right here. Right there be fine. All that's got to come off. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. Oh yeah, that's already looking better. I have 3D printed some pieces. These are the back pieces. I think they fit pretty good. I'll glue those onto here. I'm going to glue this piece. I've got the teeth for the front. And I'm thinking this. I mean, it's kind of like it. I mean, it's close enough for fun. I'm not trying to make an exact replica. That looks good. I just noticed all these screw posts are split. All right, let's see if I can do this. If I can plastic weld these two. I think both of these are ABS. Now, I don't know if it will work on this, which I think is acrylic. 
I mean, I know it works on acrylic, but will it bond ABS in acrylic? Sometimes it actually does. That feels like it. Now what I want to do is shorten the windshield and make the windshield lower part part of the hood. So I printed out this little thing and I think I can trim it down. Somewhere right there. Time to paint everything flat black. All right, I'm not hating it. I can see it, but I can also see where I need to fix things. There's still some parts I don't like. I don't like my little windshield thing here. I want to fill it in, and I think this five minute epoxy will be the best. Go blow it under the hair dryer. Try to get it to cure faster.
So there it is, my take on my favorite Roger Corman film, Death Race 2000, The Frankenstein Car. So you ready? Let the race begin. All right, all right. This is Junior Bruce, your buddy, buddy, and mine. And I'll be giving you the blow-by-blow, play-by-play when the kings and queens of the open road roar onto the track. <laughs> So if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, of course, hit the subscribe button. I'd like to thank these people here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you this kind of stuff because there's no way I could make a Frankenstein car and do all this and do a video every week and put stuff out like this without people like this helping me out. There's just no way. So if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there's a link and all that. And there's perks. So it'd be much appreciated. There's also the super thanks and all that stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>